everybody, Sue here from Sierra Sewing, Quilting and Vacuums, and we're playing today with the FAF Performance Icon. Again, an amazing machine that does a kabillion stitches, and we're going to play with a couple of those today. So these are what we call single ribbon stitches. So we're taking a ribbon and we're going to incorporate that into the decorative stitches on this machine. So um, super fun. When I come to the machine, in my stitch selection menu, I'm going to come to category number eight, which are the techniques, and these are all exclusive to the FAF machines. And number one is what we call the single ribbon stitches. So I'm going to select that, and it tells me that there are nine different that I can choose from. Okay, so I'm just going to pick this first one here. This is a fine stitch. The cool thing about this too, if I don't remember exactly how that stitch comes to play, I can go up here into my information and I go into the techniques and tutorials section here and I'm going to go into the sewing techniques and this is um, one of the exclusive stitch techniques. So I'm going to pick that and I'm going to choose the single ribbon and it's going to walk me through step by step on exactly how to do um, that technique. So it's going to give you kind of an overall instruction. This is kind of a list of all the materials. And then this actually is a little video that plays that shows you exactly how you're going to do that. So you can get out your popcorn and have a night of it, I guess. So let's go back in there. I lost my stitch. Let me see if I can find it again here. Pick that first one again. There it is. Okay. So I'm going to do mine uh, with two different colors just so you can see it better. And on black, I think it, it all kind of pops on black a little bit. So I've got this black fabric and all I've done is I've marked a chalk line just to kind of give me a reference line because it's going to kind of um, go back and forth on this. It tells me the foot I want is actually the 2A foot which is this one. Notice it does not have the opening in the back for your IDT, so you want to make sure that you pull that off before you try to put that foot on. And these just snap on pretty easy. And this also tells me that I want stabilizer behind there, just because the stitch is pretty intensive and um, you just want it to be able to support that fabric. The other trick on this, I'm going to line up this little red line on my foot with my line here and I just want to keep that foot parallel because as it stitches it's going to go back and forth a little bit and I just want to make sure that the foot is parallel to that line. I'm going to sew with my needle in the down position and notice when I do that it kind of lifts up like half a step and that's what we call the hover and that's what I want for this. And the other thing is I absolutely want to use my start stop button for this. I find that if I try to do it with my foot control, I get confused as to whether I accidentally hit the foot because um, it's going to start and stop in between the stitches. You'll see what I mean. So I'm ready to go. I am going to use my start stop button and it's going to stitch just a few stitches there. Okay. And then it stops with the needle down. That's what I want. And I'm going to take, this is just eighth inch satin ribbon. And I'm going to lay that diagonally along that line it just stitched. And I'm going to stop again, use my start stop button. And see how it created a diagonal line that's going to go on and do that little decorative little, I'm calling that a flower at the end. I'm going to fold my ribbon and I want to fold it so that it, is right snug up against that needle. I don't want any play, but I don't want to pull it too tight either. And then I'm just going to touch my start stop button again. Okay, and every time it stops, I just grab my ribbon. I'm going to fold that again up against that needle, kind of snug, but not too tight. Keep going like that and I'm just going to continue all the way down until I've finished my line. 
I'm going to go ahead and stop it now. I think that's enough. You can kind of get the gist of what we're doing here. But you can see it's stitching that flower. I really like that red with that purple. So the next one I would do is just fold that across there and it's just going to continue to stitch that down. So now that you've seen how that works, let's take a look at some of these. So every one of them has just a different little um, ornament on here. This one is actually a little, a little guy sitting on the edge of that ribbon. I think that's adorable. I love these little hearts, the flowers. This one I'm calling a, a, a fountain. Just really fun um, stitches that you can, that you can use to add just a little extra something, something to your project. I want to show you this one too. Ronnie, one of the gals that works here at the store did this really cool sample and she used that ribbon stitch around the border all the way around and she used metallic gold ribbon and it is amazing. I love, you know, that just elevates her project to the next level. So anyway, think about that next time you're working on your project. <laughs> what can I add some ribbon to? Anyway, thanks so much for joining us and we will see you next time.